Okay, so chapter one's really about the electric field. So if I have um, a point charge like this, a positive point charge, the electric field due to that um, goes outward in all directions. And if it's negative, it's going in. <clears throat> and I can describe the electric field at any location, uh, a vector r away, as E equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q over R squared R hat. Okay? So um, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught is just a constant. Q is the value of the charge. R is the magnitude of that distance. And R hat is that unit vector outwards. Okay? So that's, that's that. Now, what's really important is you, you rarely just have one charge. You have multiple charges. So the electric field uh, obeys the superposition principle. So if I have two charges, say there's a negative charge right there, then the electric field at that location is the electric field due to this charge plus that charge. So you can add them together. I need to find a better marker. Let's see if this one works. Okay, that one's better. Okay, so let me go ahead and just go through a derivation that's in the book, but um, I think it'll be useful anyway. This is the, suppose that we have a positive charge and a negative charge separated by a distance s. This is called a di, and they have the same charge, q and plus and minus q. This is called a dipole. What if I want to find the electric field anywhere? Well, I would just add up the electric fields due to the two things. But let's say I want to find it uh, as it moves up and along this uh, y axis. So a distance y away from the center of that of that uh, dipole, I want to find the electric field. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I have two electric fields that I need to add together. Let me, let me put this y over here. Okay. So I have the electric field due to the positive charge is going to be. Um, let me put the point down a little bit lower, just so it look it's easier to see. Let's, let's find the electric field right there. Just, just for uh, simplicity. So I have this distance away, and that electric field I'll call E plus. And then the negative charge uh, has this distance, and it has electric field going towards it, E minus. So now I just need to find the uh, values of the E plus and E minus vectors and add them together. Okay, so let's do E plus first. Um, so let's let's first find um, let's say right right here E plus equals one over four pi epsilon naught Q over R squared R hat R hat plus and I just left R squared since this R is the same as that r. It doesn't matter which one it is. They have the same value. And let's find out what r is. If I look at this triangle right here, this is s over 2, this is y, and this is r. So that's a right triangle. Um, so r squared is going to be um, y squared plus s squared over 4. Right, because it's the Pythagorean theorem. This squared is that squared plus that squared. Um, what about r hat? Uh, r hat is going to be, um, well, I could write r hat as r hat is the vector r divided by the magnitude of the vector r. Um, but maybe it might be better just to write this as 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q, the vector r over r cubed. I can do that, right? Because uh, if r hat is r over, over the magnitude of r, then I can turn in r hat and put another r down the bottom. So in that case, I should write r cubed. So if this is r, r cubed, is, r is going to be the square root of that. And r cubed would be to the 3 halves power. And then what about r? Now that's going to be r plus. So now I can just write the vector going from here to there. 
uh, it's going to go over s over 2 in the x direction and up y in the y direction. So r plus is going to be s over 2 y 0. Okay, now what's next? Um, I could put that in. I could put that in there for r, and I, I will just for completeness. E plus one over four pi epsilon naught q. Now let me put in for r cubed this. It's going to be y squared plus s squared over four to the three halves. And then I have s over two y zero. Okay, now I need to do the same thing for e minus. But this is easy because it's the same. The r is the same, right? It has the same positive value. And r cubed is still even the same because it's the magnitude. The only thing that's different is r minus. r minus is going to be the vector uh, from, I, I, it's still from here to there, right? So it's going to be negative s over 2, negative s over 2, um, y, 0. And the other thing that's going to be different is q. Now I have a negative charge, so q is going to be negative. I'm going to put a negative sign in for that. 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, negative q, that's a g. Why would I draw a g? That's just dumb. It's a q. It's a q. Okay y squared plus s squared over 4 to the 3 halves and then I have negative s over 2 y 0. Now just for uh, simplicity to add these things uh, let me get a common denominator by uh, factoring out a negative sign out of here which will cancel that and this will become positive and that will become negative. So now see these are the same exact terms in front of vectors and I can add the vectors together. So I get s over 2, I get two of those, but the y's cancel. So then my total electric field is going to be 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. Now I have, um, I'll just write it as, uh, I'll write it as 2. Well, yeah, I'll just write that as s. Okay. So q y squared plus s squared over 4 to the 3 halves. And then I'm going to have uh, s over 2 plus s over 2 is s, 0, 0. And then let me factor out the s and make that a unit vector. So now I, I know the unit vector and I can get the magnitude. Oh, and, and that is the answer. Okay. But a lot of times this dipole, the separation is very small compared to the distance away. So y is much greater than s. And if y is much greater than s, then y squared is going to be way bigger than s squared over 4. So in a, it's not a terrible approximation to say um, that this is just going to be, uh, and I'll just write the magnitude, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught qs over y squared to the 3 halves. Okay, But y squared to the 3 halves is going to be y cubed. And then I have the unit vector, but I didn't, I didn't include that in there. Okay, so that, that's the answer. But we need to check two things that we can always check when we have uh, an answer like this. First, the units. Does this have the same units as the electric field due to a point charge, which I erased? Well, it's got the 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught and the q, just like the, the point charge. And the point charge had 1 over distance squared. This has distance divided by distance cubed, which is 1 over distance squared. The other thing to check is what happens as I get really, really far away. If I get really far away from this, the electric field, the magnitude, should go to 0. So as y goes to 0, I mean, as y goes to infinity, e does go to 0. So, I mean, I, I admit that this, doing something like this may look just totally crazy. But, you know, this is something that you definitely need to know how to do. If this is something that's causing you problems with the vectors, then that's what you need to work on.